What's your name? Gigi! Okay, uh, just read the teleprompter for your audition. What's the teleprompter? Ooh, words! Good morning, everyone! I am Gigi the Unicorn, and you are watching Sparkle Heights Weather Report! That means with an onset of the Santa Banana winds, the smell of chocolate chip cookies will soon be in the air! Mmm, boy! Chuck? And after a lollipop harvest like this one, all residents of Sparkle Heights will certainly be in one sweet mood! <laughs> It's Daddy here on Cotton Candy Peak where the Santa Banana winds are starting to pick up! John Breaker Hail! Ah! Back to you, Mr. Squirrel! But even these Santa Banana winds can't stop your number one news team from bringing you the weather truth! <laughs> What's happening? That was amazing! We need you to be the face of Sparkle Vision Weather Channel! Uh, no way! National or local? You two! Meh, I'm okay. Thanks, though, I guess. Ugh. Hey, I'm uh, here about the uh, weather dude gig. Did you bring an umbrella? Huh? We live on a miraculous planet filled with wonder and love. A world where the fingerlings frolic and play in perfect harmony. Why are you talking like that? It makes me sound smart and stuff. Ah, yes. And like most natural habitats, it comes with its own, um, <clears throat> uh, Meet the Minis. Living by pack mentality, the Mini is driven by only one thing. To create as much chaos as they can at any given moment. Needless to say, they're very, very good at it. The mini has spotted its prey. The poor creature below, unaware of the impending danger. He knows something isn't quite right. Unfortunately, it's too late. The mini's prey puts up a valiant fight. But in the end, it is too much as he succumbs to his attackers. I hate those guys. Truly defining the term wildlife, there is one thing we can learn from the minis, and that is... What? Excuse me? Oh, hey, goodness, there are so many of you. <laughs> don't touch that. Wait, don't spill that on the... Oh, no. Oh, this has been Planet Figglings. Good night. I told you I don't have any food. Hello, Bella! Hiya! And what are you doing today? Bouncing! And why is that? Oh, you're trying to set the world record for the most jumps in a single day? Nope! I'm gonna break it! Impressive! Thank you! Especially considering that Ilsa Jumpinoff is doing a book signing right now at the Banana Shack! Say what now? She's visiting Melody Village today. I did not know that. Well, I know she's your hero. Well done. Uh, Bella? But how are you? I can do both, but I need to focus. I have 
told about your world record and had to come and see you right away. You did? Of course, that's how I started, bouncing as a little girl. Do you mind if I take a photo with you? Bella's face stayed frozen like that for seven weeks, three days, four hours, and 16 minutes. Just long enough to break another world record for the longest held goofy face ever. That is not what we did in rehearsal. Eh, needed some pizzazz. You monkeys have real control issues. Hey, everybody, I'm Boris, and you're not. Okay, so I get that we all have to do these intro videos, but I figured we'd do something with a little more style. Top five things about Boris. You have your own studio audience. You know it. Drum roll, please. Number five. Boris has an identical twin sister named Bella. Creepy, right? Number four. Boris has a complicated relationship with the minis. We have to talk about this. <laughs> it just gets worse when you give them attention, guys. Number three, Boris has a stuffed animal named Major Monkey Pants. Pew, pew, pew. But Major Monkey Pants, what will we do? We're surrounded. Calm down, soldier. Just stand back and I'm on the case. Pew, 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 pew. Number two. Boris and Bella have a special twin language called Monkey Latin. <laughs> and the number one thing you didn't know about Boris. He rocks the drums! And so our day has come to an end. Now we call each other friend. We've had some fun, we've had some laughs. But most of all, it went too fast. And so with that, we bid adieu. With memories narrated by you know who. Good night, girls who glitter so bright. You're funny, musical, and always a delight. Good night, Bella. Your spirit so bold, you're brave and so strong when all else is told. And good night, Boris, who's play- Keep a moving, dude. I sleep three hours a night. Sweetest of dreams, sloth who's named Marge, your kindness is matched only by your heart that's so large. And sleep well, Gigi, eater of candy, your sugary sweets and sure are dandy. Dream of a world of friendship and love, where friends and adventure fit like a glove. For the challenge of friendship whose love grows so fast is to have room for more when you think you've made your last. And you will learn that by whatever ends, there will always be room for more good friends. Oh, dude, she's so cool. Hey, fingerlings, that was the Huma getting us all excited about the big concert tonight. And we have a surprise for you crazy kids out there. Two tickets for tonight's show. Just be the 28th caller and they are yours. Congratulations! You are caller number...
Coming this fall, it's Glitter Girls TV. The reality show that brings you inside the crazy world of Melody Village's most sparkly little superstars. Gotta be honest, I didn't understand a thing she said. Seriously, not a single word. It's a girl thing. was a big one. Beautiful fight. Just beautiful. Ah, sleep. A magical world of slumber and dreams. A world of pillows, teddy bears, and alarm clocks. And uh, snooze buttons. Boris is what you might call a professional sleeper. to use our camera crew? Honey, I am a digital girl. So pretty. And welcome to the Banana Shack. Duh! What's up, fam? Hi, Gigi. Hey, Ollie. Hit me with the use. 
But, like, you never ordered the same thing twice, eh? Mysterious, Nispa. Hey, Bells! Fanbase Bella, Bella Fanbase. Hello! Fanbase! Yeah! Selfie shoot! This is my friend Marge. We'd love to do spin class together here at the park. Only it's unicorn style! <laughs> it's a unicorn thing. I don't know why. <laughs> Gentlemen, I give you Marge the Sloth. What's up? She's, um, she's a sloth. and gentlemen, that was Marge the Sloth. This is Robo Sapien, and I am instructing you to like and subscribe below, or I will destroy you! And thank you for watching, friend! Dude, 